Hello everyone and welcome back to the RuneScape video and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys on how to get from levels 1 to 99 in summoning. I'm going to start off by talking about all the bonus items, then I'm going to talk about how to actually train summoning and then I'll get into what you have to do to use your gold charms, crimsoms, green and blue charms to get from levels 1 to 99 in summoning. So let's get started. The first bonus item we have is the Shaman's Outfit which can be obtained from the Treasure Hunter and for every item that you do get and you do wear you'll get a 1% boost to your experience and if you wear the whole outfit you'll get a total of 6% so one on top for the total of 5 pieces so it's not bad to be using especially if you get that bonus experience over time. The next item we have is the Charming Imp, which is actually a fantastic item to be using whilst training Combat or Slayer, whatever you want to train, because it will automatically pick up every single charm that you do get from drops. It does require 21 summoning and also 21 dungeoneering, and it can be bought for 100,000 dungeoneering tokens from the Daemonheim trader. And it's just a great item to be using, it will save you a lot of time, especially you know over the hours and hours of doing Combat, you'll get so many charms saved. Another great thing to do is to be able to kill Bork, um, which does require the Hunt for Zuok quest completed. And it is such a fantastic thing to be doing every single day, especially when starting up with summoning, um, because you will get charms every single kill that you do get, and there's a 100% chance of getting those charms. So on the drop table, you can kind of see like drop quantity when you have default, which is like nothing. Then you have the next one, which is the Ring of Wealth. Then the Varric Hard Task. And that's sort of like, L-shaped upside down thing which is like the brown one it is the quest of the mighty fall which if you have completed all three every single time you kill it you get 20 blue charms 23 crimson charms and 11 green charms if you work that out per month that's like 600 blue charms per month that's like 700 and something um, crimson charms a month and it's almost like 400 green so it does actually add up and it's completely worth using because you do get some other drops too which is just fantastic Next up we have the Spirit Gems which is a great item to be using from the Treasure Hunter or from normal combat drops which will save you charms depending on which one you use. We have the Sapphire, the Emerald, the Ruby, the Diamond, the Dragonstone and the Onyx Gem and every single one has different charges and different percentages of saving those charms. For example the Emerald one which is the green one will have 20 charges so it will save 20 charms in total before it breaks and it will have a 20% chance of saving those charms. Or for example for the best one, the Onyx one, which is the last on the row, it will have 60 charges, so it will save you 60 charms before it runs out, and it will have a 60% chance of saving those charms for you. So it's a really good item to be using, especially when you get them from combat. Even if you only have the Sapphire one, it will still save you 10% you know, of those charms, which is just fantastic. We also have a distraction diversion that can be completed once every single week that is called familiarization and one of the possible rewards is to be able to get a triple charms drop for 40 minutes which is just fantastic. So you can go to some of those locations um, that you, you do usually train at for farming charms and for 40 minutes you will get three times those charms which is just you know out of this world. So I will post a link in the description, I'm not going to be showing you a guide in this video on familiarization, so I will post a link in the description to a video or to a wikia page that will help you with this mini game. Okay so let's get started now with our summoning and to get started I think it's best if I told you guys about three obelisks that are worth using. Um, we have one in Priftinus, Piscatoris and also Tavoli. The Tavoli is obviously the most basic one that you can use. Um, running back and forth from the bank there in Tavoli is not such a bad idea. Or if you have 57 summoning, you can use a Spirit Kayat and travel to the Piscatoris area, then travel back with like um, a Ring of Dueling or something. Whatever you feel like is the best, depending on your requirements and all the quests you've completed. Or if you have done the Plague Zen quest, you can use the Priftinus one, which I, as far as I know, is the fastest one to be using, traveling back from the bank, to the summoning obelisk and back and forth again like that. It's quite simple. Okay, so to get started with summoning, the first thing you have to do is to decide which obelisk you're gonna be using for now. Then you obviously need to bring your ingredients to the obelisk to be able to summon pouches, which is what gives you experience. So to be able to make a pouch, you will always need a pouch and you will always need spirit shards, which depend on which one you're making. Sometimes you only need one, sometimes you need a hundred. So it does depend on which one you're making, um, which is like the two most basic ingredients. Then depending on which pouch you want to make, it depends on which charm you have to obtain from killing monsters. It could be gold, green, blue, crimson, it could be any color. So depending on which one you want to make, you have to bring that charm to the obelisk. 
then you have to bring your final item which is like it could be like a raw chicken it could be um a mithril bar it could be loads of things so it's always worth finding out which item you do need for which pouch and once you're done you can either sell your pouches to the grand exchange or you could just summon them and use them for your combat or whatever you want to use them for depending on which one you make so yeah so hopefully that explains the basics Okay, so now let's get into the training with our charms. I'm gonna start off with gold charms and also keep in mind that as I mentioned the prices, they could change at any moment. So just because I say a certain price doesn't mean that in a month's time or in six months time, they won't change. From levels one to four, I would strongly recommend that you do complete the wolf whistle quest purely because you'll get a hefty amount of gold charms and also enough experience to get you from levels one to four. And it'll also teach you the basics of summoning. So just the whole thing is just great to be doing and is a very fast quest. From levels 4 to 10, you're going to be making 266 Dreadfowl pouches, which requires one pouch, eight spirit shards, and also one raw chicken. You'll be losing about 30 gold coins per experience. From levels 10 to 16, you're gonna be making um, 126 spider spirit pouches, which requires one pouch, eight spirit shards, and also a spider carcass. And the great news is, you're gonna be making 22 gold coins per experience profit. From levels 16 to 52, you're gonna be making um, 5,600 granite crab pouches, which requires one pouch, seven spirit shards, and also an iron ore per pouch. And you will be losing seven gold coins per experience. From levels 52 to 71, you are going to be making Spirit Terror Bird pouches and you have to make a total of 10,100 of these. You do require one pouch, 12 Spirit Shards and also one raw bird meat and you'll be making 17 gold coins profit. From levels 71 all the way to levels 99, you can make the Arctic Bear pouch which requires um, 14 Spirit Shards, one pouch and also a Polar Kebit Fur. Um, also keep in mind that this will lose you 22 gold coins per experience. So some people prefer to stay with the Terror Birds because you make profit, but it's really up to you. Um, if you have money, then do the Arctic Bears. If you don't, then stick with the Terror Birds because you will make profit with that, but it's slightly less experience. But yeah, that's how you would use up all your gold charms. Um, of course, you don't have to do this um, like from levels 1 to 99. You can have like blue charms, green charms, crimson charms to gain more experience. This is what you would do normally with your gold charms. And now that we're finished with gold charms, we can now move on into the green charms. So let's start with these ones. We're going to be starting off from levels 18 because before level 18, there's actually nothing you can make. So from levels 18 to 28, you're going to be making desert worms, which requires one pouch, 45 spirit shards, and also a bucket of sand. This will give you a 12 GP per XP loss, and you'll have to make 234 of these to get all the way to levels 28. From levels 28 to 33, you're going to be making compost mounds, and that requires one pouch, 47 spirit shards and also a compost bucket that will give you 11 GP per XP loss and you'll have to make 149 of these. From levels 33 to 41 you are going to be making vivas which requires um, one pouch, 72 spirit shards and also willow logs. This will give you a 9 GP per XP loss and you'll have to make 398 of these. From levels 41 to 47, you're going to be making Makori pouches, which requires um, one pouch, 78 spirit shards, and also a clean guam. And that will give you um, 8 GP per XP loss. And you also have to make 469 of these. From levels 47 to 56, you're going to be making Magpie pouches, which requires one pouch, 88 spirit shards, and also a gold ring. This will give you a 9 GP per XP loss. You have to make 1,309 of these. From levels 56 to 68, you're going to be making Ibis pouches, which requires one pouch, 109 spirit shards, and also a harpoon. And this will give you the same as the magpie, which is 9 GP per XP loss. And you'll have to make 3,098 of these. From levels 68 to 76, you are going to be making bunyip pouches, which requires one pouch, 110 spirit shards, one raw shark, and also that will give you a 10 GP per XP loss and you would have to make 6136 of these which is a huge amount. From levels 76 to 80 you're going to be making forge regent pouches which requires one pouch, 141 spirit shards and also ruby harvest still kind of like inside the jar. That will give you a 13 GP per XP loss and you have to make 4848 of these to get from level 76 to 80. From levels 80 to 88 you're going to be making hydro pouches which requires one pouch, 128 spirit shards, 
a water orb, and that will give you 26 GP per XP loss, and you have to make 17,043 of these. From levels 88 to 93, you're going to be making unicorn stallion pouches, which requires one pouch, 140 spirit shards, one unicorn horn, and that will give you 22 GP per XP loss, and you have to make 18,200 of these. From levels 93 to 99, you have two options. If you are willing to obtain the abyssal charms from the abyss, which is profit-wise good for you for summoning, or you can stick with the unicorn stallions, but for example, from levels 93 to 99, if you make abyssal titan pouches, you require one pouch, 113 spirit shards, and also one abyssal charm, and that will give you 15 gold coins profit per experience, but you would have to make 35,700 of these. Okay, so moving away now from the green charms into the crimson charms, um, from levels 19 to 31, we are going to be making spirit scorpions, which for this you require one pouch, 57 spirit shards, one bronze claw, and this will have to cost you 15 gold coins per experience, which is a loss, and you have to make a total of 131 of these to get all the way to levels 31. From levels 31 to 46, you're going to be making vampire bats, which requires one pouch, 81 spirit shards, a vampire dust, and that will cost you 6 gold coins per experience, and you have to make a total of 391 of these. From levels 46 to 49, you're going to be making Pylord pouches, which requires one pouch, 111 spirit shards, and a tinder box, and this will cost you 8 gold coins per experience, and you have to make a total of 117 of these. From levels 49 to 61, you are going to be making um, bloated leech pouches, which requires one pouch, 117 spirit shards, one raw beef, and this will cost you 5 gold coins per experience, and you have to make a total of 978 of these. From levels 61 to 74, you are going to be making Smoke Devil Pouches, which requires one pouch, 141 Spirit Shards, a Goat Horn Dust, and this will cost you 6 Gold Coins per experience, and you have to make a total of 2,963 of these. From levels 74 to 83, you are going to be making Granite Lobster Pouches, which requires one pouch, 166 Spirit Shards, and granite of 500 grams. There are granites of uh, 2 kilos and 5 kilos, but you need the one of 500 grams. And this will cost you um, 4 gold coins per experience, and you have to make 4,843 of these to get from level 74 to 83. From levels 83 to 92, you are going to be making spirit Dagonoff pouches, which requires um, one pouch, one spirit shard, and also a Dagonoff hide, and this will cost you 4 gold coins per experience. You have to make a total of 5,263 of these. From levels 92 to 95, you are going to be making Warper Tanger pouches, which requires one pouch, 203 spirit shards, and you do require now two, for, just for this pouch, two third ingredients, which is the raw rabbit meat and also wolf bones. Both of those are required to make the pouch. This will cost you um, six gold coins per experience, and you have to make a total of 5,569 of these. From levels 95 to 96, you are going to be making Iron Titan pouches, which requires one pouch, 198 spirit shards, an iron plate body, and this will cost you nine gold coins per experience, and you have to make a total of 2,189 of these. And finally, from levels 96 to 99, you are going to be making Pack Yak pouches, which requires one pouch, 211 spirit shards, and also a yak hide. This will cost you only four gold coins per experience, and you have to make a total of 7,931 of these. Moving away now from the Crimson Charms into the Blue Charms, which is actually our final charms for today. From levels 23 to 25, you're going to be making the Albino Rat. You do require one pouch, 75 Spirit Shards, and also a Raw Rat Meat, which is actually free to make this pouch. So you don't make any money, you don't lose any, and you only have to make a total of 8 of these. From levels 25 to 29, you're going to be making the Spirit Cow Fight Pouch, which requires one pouch, 51 Spirit Shards, and also Potato Cactus, and you'll lose 8 GP per experience. And you also only have to make 19 of these. From levels 29 to 36, you're going to be making the Giant Chin Chomper Pouch, which requires one pouch, 84 Spirit Shards, and one Chin Chomper. You will lose five Gold Coins per experience, and you will have to make a total of 50 of these. From levels 36 to 46, you're going to be making the Bronze Minotaur Pouch, which requires one pouch, 102 Spirit Shards, and a Bronze Bar. You will lose three Gold Coins per experience, and you have to make a total of 136 of these. From levels 46 to 55, you are going to be making the Iron Minotaur Pouch, which requires one pouch, 125 Spirit Shards, and also an Iron Bar, and you will once again lose three Gold Coins per experience, but this time you have to make a total of 487 of these. From levels 55 to 58, you are going to be making the Spirit Jelly Pouch, which requires one pouch, 
151 spirit shards and also a jug of water. You will only lose 2 gold coins per experience and you have to make a total of 119 of these. From levels 58 to 66 you are going to be making the Karam Thulhu overload pouch which is quite an odd name but you require one pouch 144 spirit shards and also a fishbowl and this will only cost you three gold coins per experience and you have to make a total of 533 of these from levels 66 to 76 you are going to be making the mithril minotaur pouch which requires one pouch 152 spirit shards a mithril bar and this will only cost you three gold coins per experience you have to make a total of 1447 of these from level 76 to 79, you are going to be making the Adamant Minotaur Pouch, which requires one pouch, 144 spirit shards, and also an Adamant Bar, and you'll lose 5 gold coins per experience, and you'll have to make a total of 497 of these. From levels 79 to 86, you are going to be making the Moss or Fire Titan Pouches. They both kind of like give exactly the same experience, and they both cost the same, and you will have to make the same amount, which is 2,588 uh, of these. But you do require one pouch, 202 spirit shards for both of them, or an earth or a fire talisman, uh, depending on which one you want to make. From levels 86 to 89, you are going to be making the rune minotaur pouch, which requires one pouch, one spirit shard, and also rune bar. And this will cost you 13 gold coins per experience. You have to make a total of 1,644 of these. And finally, from levels 89 to 99, you are going to be making the Gerza pouch, which requires one pouch, 222 spirit shards, and also water talisman. And this will cost you 13 gold coins per experience, and you have to make a total of 10,460. Well, guys, I hope this video can get you all the way to levels 99. Um, there might be different prices as time goes on, so don't specifically um, put your head to these prices straight away. It could um, change tomorrow, it could change in a week. So it's worth kind of keeping yourself updated with all the prices, maybe on the Wikia page with the calculators or anything like that. But I hope this video has helped you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon with another video. Peace out.